I spent two minutes with us praying will that be fine in the next two minutes please don't be distracted no moving up and down just find a corner and you are going to pray hold on to the horns of the altar and cry to the God of heaven father I will not abort destiny I obtain grace to maximize this season of preparation someone is praying Shkata baraka da brenda ge da reka tosko to brenda ge de la kata. Shanes kabira sozo bakatos embra katos kade balash. Shada brenda ge tes kate baratash embra kata baratos ko to badesh. Krata kata baraka da baka tosko to bakate. Menda baratos kada brenda ge da baraka tosko to bakate. Pray. Leke te baraka tosko to brenda ge de balata grace to seek you grace to press grace to press grace to press this one thing i do forgetting the things that are behind and setting for the things that are before me i press towards the mark of the high calling in christ looking up to jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame one more minute someone is praying i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and greatness I said before you the next 25 years of an impactful life or the next 25 years full of regret and pain and shame hallelujah one last prayer point lord take away destiny stealers take away distraction listen it says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us lord cut away distraction from my life someone go ahead and pray excessive use of social media that is not for the profiting of your spirit that may be your issue for some of you relationships and friends that are not adding up to your spiritual progress for some of you ungodly media content and consumptions that eat up the health of your spirit man for some of you prayerlessness for some of you wordlessness no prayer no fasting for some of you pride and vain glory i am a pastor i am an apostle i am a prophet i am this and that for some of you dishonor dishonor to your superiors spiritually dishonor to fathers dishonor to principles in the name of jesus please can i give you let me give you an assignment tonight i want you at the request of your pastor is a personal assignment at least between this night and tomorrow morning please spend choose any one hour whether it's from 11 to 12 12 to 1 choose any one hour and spend time alone doing three things number one praying in the spirit don't make any prayer request don't forget um, about tea and bread leave all that one you are praying in the spirit get an atmosphere of worship you can go online and download anything or find someone get a tape playing something and pray in the spirit 
write out all these things the tools for your destiny some of you notebooks that the holy ghost revealed things for you go and look for them this night all those old notebooks you have forgotten gather them tonight some of you may need to repent before god personally and say lord my life is not the way it is i can't keep lying and pretending i don't care whether you're a president whether you're a pastor that's not what i'm asking you stay with god and flog it with destiny this night so that by the time you are returning tomorrow you are returning as an enlarged vessel ready to receive are we okay on that may the lord bless you and reveal himself to you over this campus and over this city we release angelic encounters tonight for some of you you will go to bed tonight and the blueprint of your destiny will be opened up to you in the name of jesus christ every confusion around your life it comes to a permanent end tonight for some of you as you pray and spend time with god you will encounter strange anointings tonight mighty dreams and revelations that connect you to your destiny in the name of jesus christ put your hands together for jesus visitation tonight an encounter that will change your life shabrato sata shala kronda sibati shiata are you praying shebrende ke de baha shala bako siata shabranda dozi siata hasata lord let something happen in our lives that will change and shift us forever Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah I was very touched when I saw the theme of the conference and I just wondered what would have gone into the heart of the servant of God and his dear wife to have put such a conference but then I discerned that truly this conference is a prophecy that there are people who the Lord is trusting to lift from certain dungeons into a level and a dimension where their lives will speak the praises of the kingdom hallelujah and i plead with you in the name of jesus that you be sensitive to these few minutes that we have together um, it takes a lot of discernment to receive at prophetic moments and there must be a requisite level of meekness you must open up your heart to discern what god is saying there shouldn't be assumptions at all. These are spiritual realities. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You're going to sit down, but please help me with the sound. While I stood here, I began to see the wind just blow round this place. And when I saw that wind, the scripture that came to me was Ezekiel 37. And he said, prophesy to this book. He said, as I prophesied, there was a sound. There was a sound. We'll sit down shortly for the word, but I just want to honor that which the Lord had opened my eyes to see. I saw a wind blowing. And I want to stretch my hands because I'm seeing the number nine. Pastor, please, is it all right? 
the number nine. This is what I see in the spirit. And the power of God is coming upon those people. It's a strange restoration. Please, I want you to bring them out right now. In the name of Jesus, I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. I declare by the spirit. You're being shifted to a new season in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, please bring them out. I speak by the mercies of the God of David that your life will never be the same. I send this word as a prophetic instruction in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that wind flow over the length and the breadth of this building and set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Just a minute and we'll be seated. Let's just honor what the Lord is doing. Please bring them out. You will never, never be the same, I assure you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to prophesy speed. Please, whether you are an usher or not, hold them because they will start running physically. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. Right now, I stretch my hands and I declare that grace, that delay, you call it a restoration. I speak by the voice of prophecy in the name of him who died and rose again, that you are shifted to a new dimension in the spirit, a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. Help this woman, please. Bring them out. But help this woman. I stand in partnership with the grace upon this house and we declare by the Spirit. We open the prison doors and we declare by the voice of prophecy, move forward, make progress, move forward, advance by the Spirit of grace. For conferences like this like the man of God was sharing it is important for you to understand that this is not just some religious activity conjured by men this is an expression of a deep desire from your pastor and your father to see that truly you step into superior dimensions in the spirit where your life becomes a testament of his speakings and I have only come tonight to lend my voice with your father and the grace upon this house to call the devil a liar even in this season and to decree and declare that truly the Bible says there is hope for a tree in the name of Jesus Christ and because you are that tree that is planted in the house of God the Bible declares that you must flourish in the courts of our God hallelujah for all those who have come out I stand in partnership with the grace in this house and in the name of Jesus that which needs to be corrected we correct now in the spirit that which needs to be taken out we take out now in the name of Jesus that which needs to be introduced we introduce now in the name of Jesus we decree and declare that the end comes to captivity receive we grant it access to speak in your life here and now and let Jesus be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please be seated if you can thank you Jesus 
water you turn into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you None like you It's into the dark as you shine And out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you This is our testimony tonight That our God is greater Our God is strong Holy Spirit and let Jesus be glorified in the name of Jesus please be seated the mystery of restoration the mystery of restoration please just help those under the anointing just guide them so they don't injure themselves and let's lend our attention even at this time even unto salvation but tonight, God is calling us to restore these twin forces of the ministry of scripture and the ministry of prayer. Please rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed Adonai. One more time. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Just two prayer points tonight, and then I speak over your life and we're done. Let me encourage you. Um, please make a commitment to not miss the remaining sessions that we have we have a session early tomorrow and it's for everyone I believe but I'm going to be teaching um, particularly for those in ministry there are things that the Lord would want us to know and we'll be sharing together and trusting God to expand our spiritual understanding to the end that we are efficient ambassadors hallelujah so please do well make it a date and then of course as always the night would be a time when I would teach further and then we'll have an opportunity to pray minister to you by the spirit and then you will do well to come with your requests also and we'll pray I trust that God has spoken to us tonight prayer point number one Lord I declare in the name of Jesus that I exalt the word of God above and beyond any and every spiritual experience around my life go ahead and pray let it be from the depth of your heart more than visions more than prophetic experiences more than signs and tokens in the name of Jesus I declare that your word is exalted my confidence as a believer my confidence in this faith work as a man of God is not on the strength of the flesh beyond my visionary experiences beyond the things I have seen and see beyond the things I have heard and hear I submit to the authority and the supremacy of the Word of God as the basis for my confidence as the compass by which I navigate through my path in life 
go ahead and pray let it be from the depth of your heart any and all practices that are inconsistent with that which is written I edit them out of my spiritual experience in the name of Jesus the Christ of God you are a man of God here pray grace that our pulpits will be Bethel the places of bread where we serve God's people the meal of the word the meal of doctrine with power and with accuracy go ahead and pray I submit myself to the study of the word for in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please listen to me before we pray the second prayer for some of you right now after this session tonight God is calling you you may need to go online and go and download even if it's a Bible study you know guide or template even if it's a devotional guide I know many of us believe we are too matured for devotionals and so our Bible studies have hazard it's not line upon line we open anything any day and just because it's the Bible you see you don't grow just because you are opening the Bible it has to be sequentially arranged truth after truth line upon line are we together imagine a student who enters any class any day any faculty any day for five years you can't call that student a graduate he's not a bad student but he's not methodically growing is the ability to zoom yourself across a thought line and grow methodically and sequentially are we together now yes so for many of us, we need to stop the haphazardness in our spiritual growth. You may need to return back to the good old devotionals. And don't you think those devotionals are for baby Christians? No, it is pride and ignorance that gives you that information. Many of our parents only spent like 10 to 20 minutes every day. They did it for 30 years and they maintained spiritual stability. They probably did not finish the Bible as it were, but they were sure to make that contact and it was methodical. Some of us just open Genesis, open anything, Psalms, okay, the dedication of the temple, Second Chronicles 7. We read two verses while we're sleeping and close it and we don't grow that way. We may need to return to order. Can I tell you the truth? Discipline is not a gift. You have to culture yourself. Is that true? He said, I put my body in subjection. You have to discipline yourself. Just help us under the anointing. For the excellency of what is before you. So there are many of us we need to return. Especially men of God, respectfully speaking. We have our time tomorrow. But you can't live your life just on listening to sermons and then cherry picking one or two messages no you have to settle down and be stable in the entire understanding of doctrine are we together lopsided spiritual understanding will cost you eventually you need to understand the entire span of scripture what it says you need to understand scripture the number one way to know God as revealed from the Bible is scripture. The second way to know God is by studying the names of God. The third way to know God in scripture is studying Jesus, who is the express image of the invisible God. And then the fourth way to know God is through your experiences. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two, and then we wrap up. Father, fan the flames of prayer in my life fan the flames of prayer in my life as a revelation not a burdensome ritual go ahead and pray restore for many of you this service is a restoration service fan the flames of prayer in my life that I will pray not just as a remedy for affliction that I will pray not just as a platform for receiving petitions and getting requests to be granted to pray as a platform for my transformation and my growth someone pray ask the lord the bible declares for everyone that asketh receive it to him that seeketh he will find there are many of you you are the watchmen that god is setting upon the southeast upon enugu and you must obtain grace from god he said i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower that i will see what he will say to me you cannot afford to fail in the prayer ministry 
you must know how to tell the spirit and the bride to come for the word to come for revival to come for healing to come someone pray i obtain grace to honor the prayer dimension of my priesthood in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we'll talk a little more about prayer tomorrow but you cannot be efficient in prayer until your prayer life becomes systemic when your prayer life is emotional you cannot grow you have to bind yourself with a systemic approach to prayer are we together now yes the bible says while peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer there has to be a systemic approach to your prayer life with a covenant that is non-emotional father thank you for bringing your word over us tonight thank you for that which you are speaking to us we declare that we have discernment like the sons of Issachar and even as we are in the days that are in the similitude of that of Noah we obtain grace to receive the survival strategies for the time in the name of Jesus Christ that we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of the word and even to prayer as you depart to your homes the Lord bless you I decree and declare that tonight will be a night of supernatural encounters for you in the name of Jesus the hearing ear the seeing eye let it be given to you by the Spirit for some of you tonight may God open to you the blueprint of your destiny and with exactitude and precision may you begin to find the ancient paths to walk therein in the name of Jesus Christ in the spirit I desire to grow from today I make my spiritual growth an intentional pursuit there is a lot that depends on my growth hallelujah praise the Lord the last prayer point father grant me the grace to reveal Jesus from today through my life through all of these dimensions are we together now through my character through the dexterity of my spiritual understanding through the outworkings of the power of the Holy Spirit in my life and by the demonstration of love let men see Christ exalted Christ revealed in my life lift your voice and pray those outside pray overflows pray following online lift your voice and pray hallelujah praise the Lord I'm about to make the altar call please be patient there are a few very important announcements I need to communicate before we wrap up for tonight but there are people here listening some of you came here you were invited some of you are in the overflows some outside some following online from whatever nation and you're saying apostle hearing you speak I cannot for sure say that Jesus is Lord of my life I have a desire for him but I don't seem to have truly found him others are saying one time I gave my life to Jesus but as it is now my life has gone haywire and I need to bring my life back to order these two categories of people now for all of the overflows and outside you just move to your projector screen and then those in the main auditorium i'd like you to run and come and stand here it'll be my joy and my honor to lead you to jesus i'll count one to five please i'd like you to come one let's honor them koinonia come to jesus god bless you win that war tonight win that war tonight win that war God bless you keep coming don't be ashamed of anyone no one condemns you this is a house of love come 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 he's giving you a new beginning come all overflows move to your overflows look at these our wonderful children let's celebrate them come come
Minister Freke taught us and he said if he's not in his presence and if it is not by his hand if it is not by his word it's not just don't let me have it you really can't have it you have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back you have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back when the Titanic sank there were only two names if ever you were saved there was your name if you were lost your name was there there's nothing like being in between no if you are not saved you're not saved if you are not sure you are not saved I salute every single one of you listen until the day Jesus comes we will never stop participating in the global harvest we must see to it that souls come to Jesus every day someday when we're in heaven we're going to see these blessed people and they will look at us and say thank God thank God for clapping for me while I came for I am a life that was changed thank you for giving to the Lord I am so glad you came my dear ones look at me we're standing before Jesus not just Joshua Selman those following online those in the overflows let there be someone there to guide them I want to lead you to make this most noble prayer is greater than receiving an award is greater than receiving an employment letter is greater than rising up from a wheelchair this is the security of your eternal destiny lift your right hand high to the heavens pray this from the depth of your heart say after me Lord Jesus one more time say Lord Jesus I love you I have heard your word tonight I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight I hand over my life to you and I receive your life in exchange be my Savior be my Lord be my King forever I declare that I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness I reign in life amen keep your hands lifted father we thank you for these precious ones they have become by their confession members of the family of heaven and it's an honor to welcome them to this family that so represents your voice and your counsel at this side of your kingdom I pray that you will keep them in the name of Jesus I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit may you become mighty men and women of the spirit and I pray that the Lord himself will do wonders in and through your life in the name of Jesus Christ thank you very much now very quickly there's a counselor there are counselors waving a placard for you all of you I want you to please move in concert just follow um, the counselors celebrate them as they go celebrate them as they go bless you darling thank you hallelujah no But it takes hunger. In one of these encounters, I was speaking with a man who came to me and he was talking to me. And when he was done, he turned and was going. And I called him, I said, sir, you did not tell me your name. He turned back to me and smiled and said, Paul. And he turned and kept moving. You see, this is an election of grace.
this is why we do not boast there is no place for the flesh you know it is God that is transforming you because it leaves a deposit of humility in your life you are aware of your sheer inadequacy outside of his hell hallelujah are we together now yes. so when you hear apostle joshua selman it's not because there is anything in, our, in in us by our own strength our sufficiency is of christ who has made us able ministers able ministers hallelujah are we blessed now so the first key is genuine brokenness you must get to a point where you love God more than money. Not just that you heard that when you come to God, you make clean money. So you came to him because you don't want to make dirty money. It's still idolatry. If he asks you to shut down your business for his presence, can you do that? Hmm. If he asks you to shut down your reputation for the sake of his majesty and glory, can you do that? Sorry about that. If it's not in your presence If it's not from your hand If it's not by your spirit Don't let me have it For everything I need is in you If it's not in your presence if it's not from your hand if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it come and make my heart your home come and be everything i am and all i that's the prayer now. Will you search me through and through till my heart be God? It says, Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. You're my treasure, my priority. Who can compare to you? Great is the measure of your royalty. Oh, morning star, you are everything. Everything, Lord, you are everything. Hear me, man of God. You want God to do much with you? Forget about ministry and focus on His presence. That's how to be in ministry. You must love His presence more than preaching. I love him from the depth of my heart if he never blesses me i owe him my life it is true this is not just some man of god talk on stage believe me you want to find power with god you want god to use you within a dispensation my brothers and my sisters is more than laying on of hands it's more than a bottle of oil the price for life is death the price for all of god is all of you not your money not your offering you can give god your offering to carry that nonsense it's your heart i want first this is the key that controls superior dimensions of the power of god of revival on it shall hear me until god finds men and women 
who can be broken men who can hold on to the four horns of the altar without shame and say lord this is your boy coming to you they call me their man of god but your boy is here again i'm right here where you met me before you lifted me no matter the lifting i'm not stupid i still realize and god says you are doing this for me you are ready to step into another level You want to see the power of God in your churches? You want to see the power of God as you preach? It is not by gimmicks. No. There's gonna be a great awakening. And there's gonna be a great revival in your land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus, they will be saved. Hear me? Every time the move of God is about to happen in a territory, there are two spirits that are always released within that territory, personified in two men. Number one is called Enoch. Enoch represents the spirit of intimacy and hunger. It says, and Enoch walked with God, the seventh man from creation. Genesis chapter 5, I believe, and verse 24, thereabout. Enoch walked with God. Not Enoch built churches. The greatest testimony is that Enoch walked with God to the point where he was not. Preachers, let us not let ministry become an idol. You want to command power? Some of you, God is speaking to you. You have been busy preaching. From the day engagements came, you left him. You have been working for God. And yet you stopped working with God a long time ago. Many of you, your prayer groups, intercessory groups, you started as men with hunger at the back of a tree. But now that they've identified you, you started preaching here and there. You don't care. It doesn't matter. Let me move my destiny forward, you say. Brokenness. God is calling you. There are many of us to repent is not a word for sinners to repent is how we are transformed realign back to the standard many of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears i want to tell you what happened in your city by prophecy while men slept the enemy came he cannot sow when you are alive he said awake thou that sleepest while men slept you know how people sleep satan occupies them with activities that are outside of christ just keep making the money i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that just keep making the fame just keep adding credentials and then the enemy steps in and begins to plant seeds seeds of rebellion seeds of spiritual laxity he discerns that there is a family that should carry the next prophet over on each other and very quickly he plants a seed in that young man some of them the devil destroyed their destiny by sending them abroad they had no business going anywhere but he relocated them fast they called it breakthrough like Saul of Tarsus they went out of the will of God can I tell you this look at me one of the reasons why God is organizing this conference this year, you may not know. He's honoring the cry and the covenant of those who died serving the purposes of God. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Listen, 
your territory is full of the history of men and women who live for the gospel some of them died and never had that reward that is the burden that came on this man is you sometimes you don't even know what is moving you and god says no i must find a witness in onisha the blood of someone is speaking and saying lord arise there has to be a move of the spirit the anthem of our nation says that the labor of our heroes past shall not be in vain there are missionaries who serve god they never tasted of the honor of priesthood and they went reverend canon you are crying but let me tell you the burden that is on you is more than just a man trying to make a name is prophecy many of you here you are walking you just think you are moving but there is an ancient prophecy driving you that thing making you not to sleep when others when others are sleeping you cannot sleep is more than you is more than an ambition is prophecy Enoch is crying within your territory the spirit of intimacy where are the men and the women who will hunger after God your spiritual climate is saturated with the spirit the cry there is a cry of the spirit over on each other, over the east of the niger where are those who must arise in this season in power to love and hunger after god men and women alike time I step into a territory the Holy Spirit will reveal to me what he desires to do I went to bed yesterday and in the dream of the night I was taken somewhere I don't know where within your region and I saw graves that's what I saw suddenly there was like light from heaven and graves began to open this is what I saw I saw people that were dead coming back to life Your city will not only be known for business, it will be known as careers of fire. There will be restoration of mantles and graces. It's not only buying and selling. No, fishers of men, makers of destinies. Please sit down for a minute. We're about to pray. There are two spirits that foreign revival. Number one is Enoch, a representation of hunger and passion and fire. The second spirit is Elijah, the spirit of prayer and supplication that restores the ordinances of God and the patterns of God again. He said before the great and terrible day of the Lord Elijah 
will come again when John came to forerun Jesus he came in the spirit and the power of Elijah prayer supplication prayer that opens the heavens oh that thou wouldest rend the heavens he says please hear me believers God is not wasting your time tonight the revival that will come out from this night will surprise you once again the altar of the Lord will be built because fire is about to come from heaven when the prophets of Baal tried from morning till night the Bible says when it was the time of the evening sacrifice Elijah said build me with 12 stones let me remind God of his covenant now watch this please sit down we have to pray because I need to minister to you now we have to walk with time just a few minutes and we're done I don't intend to keep you hear this The first assignment of Elijah is to restore the patterns of God. Because you see, the spirit of the Antichrist that is represented in that she goddess called Jezebel is a spirit that attempts to frustrate the purposes of God and empower the prophets of Baal. Under the leadership of Jezebel, she is a spirit that seeks government. She is activated only when she marries the king. The Bible talks about her in Revelations 18. That in one hour, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. It's become a habitation of demons. The kings and the merchants of the earth who have lived luxuriously through their fornication with her. That goddess that sits upon a horse. The Antichrist system, Jezebel. It says all the kings will bemoan her and said in one hour is your judgment come. Jezebel is a businesswoman. The Bible now begins to list all the things that she sells. And one of the things she sells is the souls of men. Hear me. There must be a restoration of the spirit of prayer within your territory. There must be a restoration. Those of you who are on campus, read your book study but in addition to your study don't leave god behind anything minus god is nothing there are families right now hearing me and i'm speaking apostolically go back and restore the altar of prayer again before you made it you prayed in the night before you slept when you woke up in the morning now i am busy it's a deception because an attack is coming every time an attack is coming the spirit of fear and the spirit of carelessness and coldness comes upon a people while men slept for some of you this is not how you started with god when you started with god your fire how dare you miss times of prayer how dare you miss times of the word how dare you can listen to worship for hours but right now five minutes and you've slept it's an attack wake up the altars that fought your father have seen that you are rising to become a voice and they are now coming to you they want to bring you down Elijah, Enoch, intimacy and passion with God, prayer and supplication. Because nothing happens in this side of God's kingdom until there is a union between the spirit and the bride. It is the spirit and the bride that tells the word, come. When the spirit says healing, come, the bride on earth must echo it to healing, come, for healing to come. When the spirit says revival, come, the bride must also say revival come it is the spirit and the bride the spirit is ever willing to come upon your territory but there must be brides enough brides indeed 
who are ready to say Maranatha God in a new way come upon the land of Onitsha can I tell you this you will begin to see revivals break out in marketplaces people are buying and selling suddenly the power of God comes on someone and he's listening to a message he will come on his knees and say even though I just bought something from you lead me to Jesus people will wake up with dreams and start running on the street by Sunday when you come to your church your gate is closed but you will find people holding on to the gate and crying I don't know the name of what is happening to me but I need to repent I need Jesus Please hear me. Please hear me. We're about to pray. I may not be able to mention all the other ones because our time is gone. But sufficient is the charge for tonight. We need a restoration of hunger and love for God. Onisha, do not lose the spiritual heritage God has given you to the devil. You now see that when your spiritual life goes down, it's a matter of time your business will start having issues issues you can't explain you are losing money anyhow you are not even explaining someone is cheating you someone is defrauding you they are all symptoms of something that is going wrong in the realm of the spirit i've come like i said to join faith with all the fathers within the land all the veterans of the gospel and together we are going to lift up a banner that says Jesus is still king over Onisha. And this night we will announce to every devil, Onisha is not an idol worship place. An is for Jesus. And every home is for Jesus. Thank God for what the fathers worship. But here comes a generation that only believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the son of the living God but like I taught in the morning cheap confession is not where it stops there must be grace to defend what we are saying is that true so on it shall hear me let every other name fade away let every other name fade away till there's only you every other name fade away jesus take your place jesus take your place four things will happen now very quickly number one listen carefully I requested by the spirit that we bring our prayer requests four things very quickly number one is we're going to be praying and then I will be ministering to the sick I may not have the time to prophesy because our time is gone and we have to respect the time but I want to pray for the sick and I want to pray for people who are oppressed miracle signs and wonders are a revelation of number one the love of the father number two the power of God I believe in miracles I believe the man standing before you is a living miracle there was a time I was diagnosed with a fungal infection that literally ate my head and it was as though hair would never grow again I know what it means to taste of the power of God I am a miracle So I want you to be prepared to wave goodbye to every infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. Never suffer long with evil. Evil always comes pregnant. When you host it, it will give birth to many other disasters in your life. So I'll pray for the sick. If time permits, we could take one or two testimonies. Number two. The second thing that will happen here is we're going to be praying for the requests. This is the most accurate representation of your desires and we're going to be praying and declaring over it number three like i requested in the morning 
I may respectfully request even just for a minute or two maybe one or two of the fathers of faith the veterans of the gospel to come stand with me to represent the unity of the church in Onisha we're going to close that divide that has given Satan allowance and we're going to speak over the territory the final thing we're going to do is I'm going to stand apostolically and every gate over this city that is closed we are opening the two leaf gates for every good thing that must come into the city are we in agreement please rise up on your feet prayer point number one father arise like the mighty God that you are bring me healing bring me deliverance right now lift your voice and pray my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by give me an encounter tonight in the name of Jesus give me a supernatural visitation hallelujah now listen Acts chapter 10 please and verse 38 I'm about to pray for the sick now Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth Peter is teaching the first message preached to the Gentiles. This will be the first salvation of the Gentiles. This was in the house of Cornelius. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, it says, with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible records that he went about doing good. It takes the anointing to do good. It takes more than a good heart. Went about doing good, listen carefully, and healing not they that were sick, they that were oppressed. Every sickness is an oppression. Every sickness. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Listen very carefully, please. Wherever you are trusting God for a miracle, all through this magnificent theater and the, so many outside, I'd like you to lay your hands there right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Go ahead. Now arise, O oh Lord, would you come to your resting place? You and the ark of your might. Then we will rejoice. As we clothe in your righteousness, we celebrate your love. Listen, I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Stand in agreement and shout a loud amen when I begin to pray. The healing power of Jesus is mighty in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. I want welcome in this place. There are two ladies who are going to shout very loud to the hearing of everybody. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. I don't know why these things happen. These are signs and wonders. The Lord does it to bring glory to himself. Now I'm ready to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, such such anointing flowing to people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I rebuke every devil of infirmity. Every spirit that is back of, help them please. Every spirit that is back of any sickness, in the name of Jesus, I command that you go now. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I speak to your body.
be healed now. Be healed, my God. Be healed now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone you have a problem with the left side of your ear. I'm seeing the power of God touching you right now. The left side of your ear, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every blood condition here that needs to be changed, we change it now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing someone, I don't know what is wrong with the left, your right, your right up, up from your kneecap. I don't know if it's a sprain or something of that sort. The power of God is touching you right now. I'm seeing a gentleman, your rib, just around this area. I don't know what has been happening. I don't know if you broke it or you've been having severe pain. Right now, as I'm praying, the power of God is touching you. Migraines, help them please. My God, the power of God is touching people here. Migraine, headaches, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Everyone with any malignant growth around your body, fibroids, tumors of all sorts, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command it disappear from your body now. blood pressure low blood pressure be healed now the Lord is showing me two ladies I'm seeing you have for one you have like a lump for the other you have multiple lumps around the breast area after the prayer I want you to check it that devil must leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ help them don't worry, we'll take testimonies. Just, just be patient. Now, anyone on a wheelchair, inside or outside, you're on a wheelchair or you're on a crutch, stand up now. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk now. There's someone I'm seeing you have, I don't know if it's palpitations. When you stand, you keep breathing and very heavy breath. It looks like something is wrong with you. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. Um, please don't be embarrassed. You don't have to come out. I'm praying. I'm seeing a woman, whether it's the time for your monthly circle or not, you're having severe bleeding. It can come at any time. This has, you've lost blood. This has, this has even affected you health-wise. Right now, that bleeding stops this moment. In the name of Jesus, help her, help her. That devil leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing someone, I don't know if it's a growth or some sort of discomfort around your throat like a swelling. In the name of Jesus, let it go now. The Lord is showing me someone you don't see very well from a distance. I don't know what the problem is, but right now the power of God will come on you and you will begin to see me clearly from where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every chest problem be healed now. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five people in my vision. I'm seeing pile. Pile. Very, for one, there's a very severe case of pile. You cannot even go to the toilet because it looks like you are just, it looks like it's just some sort of hemorrhage or so. In the name of Jesus, right here, I declare be healed now. The Lord is showing me someone, you've been seeing dead people. The people that have died and gone every night, they come to you and it's like they are calling you. I declare every covenant that connects you. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered from the power of the grave. Now, hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, we're going to do this very quickly. Whether I mention your case or not, be healed right now in Jesus' name. Now, for the sake of time, we'll just walk with a few people and then the rest, they can share it after now. 
I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Many of you, even whilst you fell on the, under the anointing, you found out that miracles right now have happened to you. When there are people like that, please, let's have one or two officials. I'd like you very quickly to allow them as you check yourself to just come here. We'll take a few testimonies to let Onisha know that Jesus is Lord and then we'll pray on this and we'll be ready for the final impartation. Is that fine? Now very quickly check yourself. Let's celebrate them as they come. Please check yourself. Are you seeing miracles happening? My God. Onisha, is this how you celebrate miracles? Check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, please make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Don't be ashamed. Clear the way for them, for those who are outside. Jesus is healing people. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Look, miracles are happening here. Let's have a few people. Please allow them come. Allow them come. Check yourself right now. Do what you couldn't do. You found out there is a miracle on each other. Celebrate Jesus. People are coming. God is able to do just what he said he will do. It's God I'm so Every promise to you. Let them come. Don't give up what God as he will. I will give up ministry a thousand times to preserve his presence. A thousand times. I will drop this mic without thinking about it. Take your place. We are praying. Take your place. It's not a special number. Take your place. Just two prayer points and we're done. I apologize for the time. Prayer point number one. Spirit of the living God, take me on this journey. I'm tired of acting a Christianity that I cannot prove. I submit to you sincerely. Is someone praying? Jesus gave him an, as an advantage to us. As an advantage to us. Please pray. Please pray. Man of God, pray. I do not doubt the call of God upon your life. I know that there is a hand of God upon you, but you will not excel in ministry on the strength of the flesh. I know he's called you into business. I know he's called you to be an influential person. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Shalabakata prans katalika. Shekete katapa karusa siyata. Emprete kalisa sabakarusa tariyata. Manta brakata katabra te seketele kata. Shekete kete kete barus kebasya. Mandas kaparuta sadabalakata. Rekete kete kete katapra to soto balata. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Ah. The quickener. The one who guides. The one who turns ordinary men to signs and wonders. The spirit of truth. The spirit of grace. The spirit of God. The representation of the presence of God. Balandas calabras que pede hachela nusiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer. There is one thing I know about God. There is nothing that attracts the presence of God to a man like total surrender and brokenness. Let me tell you this more than prayer more than fasting, more than vigils, in my experience with God and as proven from scripture, the greatest magnet to the attention of God is a broken and a contrite heart. You can pray, you can fast, you can attend vigils, but I tell you this, 
you want to draw the attention of God, there is a position. A heart that says, Lord, I'm completely open. We are going to cry for a few minutes in this place. Listen to me. I don't care whether you're a man of God. I don't care whether you're a pastor. Uh-uh. You are going to take off your golden crown and join the elders. You are going to say, Lord, purge me. My heart is open. There is an experience I seek for. There is a dimension of reality. If you are ashamed to cry before God, you are not serious. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Lift your voice. Cry before your maker. Outside, make sure you are praying. Few minutes and we are done. my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before keep praying your royal majesty I truly cast my crown before the highest royalty Undone before your glorious majesty, you're the king of kings and lords of lords, you are the king of kings, you are the lord of lords, your royal majesty. One minute pray it is only when the sacrifice is upon the altar that the fire falls the fire cannot come until there is a sacrifice upon the altar one more minute some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears I come to you the lover of my soul is praying would you dance with me oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs a new relationship would you dance with me oh Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.